Do you sometimes find that the goals that used to energize and excite you now sometimes seem to exhaust you? There's a phrase that I learned long ago that really resonated with me because that's exactly how I felt. And it's simply goal fatigue, goal fatigue. It happens when either we have too many goals at the same time or when we constantly have new goals. And so we reach a goal and we head straight into the next one without giving ourselves time to really replenish our energy. And this is one of my favorite topics because I think we sometimes underestimate how much energy it really takes, mental capacity, time, resources, in order to accomplish a goal. And if we're overly optimistic about our capacity and our ability, we can burn ourselves out. So I've got three signs that you might have goal fatigue. All right, you ready? Sign number one, what used to energize you now burns you out. It exhausts you. And it's confusing when this happens because when you're doing something you're passionate about and you've been passionate about it, and now it just feels like a chore, it feels like a job. It's confusing because you know it's something you love, so why is it that you dread it? Why is it that it's feeling burdensome or heavy? The reason often is that you have not replenished your energy. You're trying to do too much of that good thing. And as we know, too much of a good thing can actually become a bad thing. So it's important to pay attention. It's important to not overdo it and to honor your needs, your mental capacity, your energy needs by not trying to do too much in too short of a period of time. So side number one is when the thing that used to excite you, used to energize you, now burns you out or exhausts you. Sign number two is that you never are able to give your full attention to any one goal and it shows. You find yourself so spread thin that you give a little bit of your time here, a little bit there, a little bit there. You might even find yourself dropping the ball on things that you said were really important. And this happens because again, you only have but so much energy to achieve your goals. And when you spread yourself thin, you aren't able to give what's needed to each one of the goals. So here's a good solution for that. It's critical that you prioritize your goals. What's important, what's most important right now? Sometimes it's almost like we're afraid that we're going to forget a goal or that we are uh, not going to reach it. And so we pile everything on at once and we're impatient about the process. And we have to remember that progress is a process. And so if you can prioritize, you can say, you know what, this right here, I'm not gonna work on that right now. I'm going to focus my energy here because this is the biggest priority. This needs to happen now. And maybe whatever that now goal is, maybe it's a week long goal, maybe it's a three month goal. But when you get to the end of it, you hit your finish line, you celebrate, you replenish, and then you move to the next one. But oftentimes we don't prioritize out of fear. Fear that if I don't do everything right now, I might not be able to do everything I want to do. So you've got to let go of that fear. Get clear about what's most important right now. Focus on that. Give yourself the gift of being able to have a true focus. When you do that, you'll see your creativity go up and you'll see your joy go up too. So here's sign number three. Sign number three, I've kind of alluded to, but it's basically this. The finish line of your goals always becomes the starting block for the next goal. If you ever ran track, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You get to the finish line, it shouldn't be a starting block. At your finish line, there should be celebration, you should be drinking water, you should be catching your breath. That's what you need to do with your goals. When you hit a milestone, stop. Acknowledge it. Reflect on what it took for you to get there. Acknowledge that it took strength, that it took courage, that it took discipline, that it took consistency, whatever it took. Acknowledge it. And then, Reflect on what worked well. What caused you to succeed? If there was something that went wrong, ask yourself, what happened there? What could I do differently next time that would make this a little bit easier as I move into the next goal? So that acknowledgement is important. 
acknowledgement of the character strengths it took for you to get to the finish line, and then the reflection so that you're learning each time you hit a finish line. What helped me succeed? And what obstacles did I face? And what did I learn from facing those obstacles? And being able to overcome them and still get to the finish line. But what's also important is that when you get to that finish line, you celebrate and you replenish. You deplete your energy as you move towards a goal. And it's absolutely essential that you replenish that energy. And one of the ways that you do it is by simply taking a break, resting, not having a goal for a minute. <laughs> And then, once you have replenished that energy, you'll know because you'll feel it. You'll be ready to move forward again. So that's it, three signs. Number one, what used to energize you now burns you out or exhausts you. Number two, you never are able to give your full attention to any one goal, and it shows. And number three, your finish line has become a starting block for your next goal over and over and over again. You know what, once you know what the signs are, you also know what you need to do about them. So I encourage you, take action, do something different, get a rest, celebrate, reflect, prioritize your goals so you're not trying to reach everything at the same time. If you want more life coaching strategies, just visit me at ValerieBurton.com forward slash blog. I'll talk to you next time.